Thailand has one of the worst road safety records in the world. If you're thinking of retiring, holidaying, studying or working here and you're going to drive a vehicle on Thai roads, you need to watch this video. I've been driving over 20 years. I've seen a lot of accidents, a lot of near accidents. This isn't a scaremongering video in any way. It's meant to highlight the differences and dangers you might face when driving here in Thailand. Okay, so I'm gonna hop onto my desktop and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so number one is running red lights. It's uh, common in many countries, but prevalent here in Thailand. So my advice would be to approach every junction with caution and ease off the gas. Don't speed up to get that green light. And if you do, double and triple check as you go across the junction. Also something to look out for are the eager beavers. Um, a lot of motorcyclists preempt the light change. Just be aware there could be some early birds trying to get across the junction. Also watch out for stragglers. As you can see this guy's run the red light just at the end and the truck or the van hasn't picked him up. Okay, so number two, always wear a helmet. Uh, the laws in Thailand are pretty relaxed compared to other countries, uh, as you can see here. But yeah, with the hot weather and seeing Thais not wearing helmets, don't be lulled into a full sense of security. Especially outside of the towns, the helmets are infrequently used. So you need to wear a helmet, not like this numpty YouTuber. I think he actually had an accident in this video. Uh, the helmet he did finally put on, I was pretty useless probably does more harm than good. These are the types of helmets that you will be getting if you hire a motorbike. I see kids either wearing these flimsy little hats or no helmet at all. So if you can, ask the rental shops for a full face helmet or try and purchase one at a, a motorbike outlet. Okay, so number three is about U-turns. Now, they aren't that common in the UK, but they are very common in Thailand, all over the country. Many accidents happen here. Now, this schoolgirl is gonna demonstrate how to proceed the right way at a U-turn, the vehicle opposite is actually hindering her view of the fast lane and she proceeds carefully. This is how to do it. This is not how to do it. Now also you get people pushing in at U-turns. Uh, it's dangerous because it blocks your view of the oncoming fast lane traffic. Another cheeky Charlie is uh, getting in on the action here so you need to peep and creep and proceed with caution. Okay, so number four is drink driving. It's a serious problem. WHO puts it at 26% cause of road fatalities, but local authorities here put it as much as 80%, especially in the holiday period. Uh, I can attest to this. Uh, when building a house, my, uh, my workers would be three lashes to the wind on uh, Lao Cao, and at six o'clock in the evening, they'd be on their motorbikes on their way home, uh, especially early to late evening. Watch out for dawdling motorists like this guy and numpties like this or this guy. I think maybe something other than alcohol is at work here. Maybe Yabba, which is like an amphetamine. Uh, this isn't common. Um, he's an absolute nutcase. I think he's uh, either completely out of it or he's left something in the oven. Number five is the overtaking rule. Now, in a nutshell, there are no rules. You will be overtaken, uh, you will be undertaken. Uh, you need to be very diligent when making lane changes, check all your mirrors, and on single lane highways especially, you need to be very careful. Mountain roads can be particularly precarious during the rainy season. So big trucks tend to boss the roads in Thailand. Um, it's law of the jungle really, and they will force a middle lane through impatience. And sometimes an extra two lanes are created on a highway just to accommodate an overtaking maneuver. The breakdown lanes are also used uh, to their full potential. And you must be aware of cars undertaking you and utilizing the breakdown lanes. This guy tried it and uh, failed. Also when traveling on the highway, commercial vehicles, especially pickup trucks, can be very impatient to undertake or to overtake. And my advice is to steer clear, uh, keep your distance from any type of shenanigans like this because it usually ends in tears. Okay, so number six are motorcycles in general. They are my pet hate in Thailand. They will undertake you, overtake you, and if they could, they'd go over the top of you. They will create blind spots that you never thought were there. Uh, you need to have eyes in the back of your head. 
they're usually not paying attention either on mobile phones or just generally driving badly uh, there are precarious loads carried on motorbikes uh, the boat motorbike would be unbalanced in rural areas that often tail lights are out so you have to be careful at nighttime driving motorbikes will often come up the wrong way of a road or highway this is particularly dangerous because the oncoming motorbikes will be forced into the inside lane as you can see here also when making any turning maneuver just check both ways because motorbikes will come from out of nowhere these girls were coming down the wrong way and nearly paid the price now motorbikes not looking um, is also common and quite disconcerting as you can tell by my voice yeah I don't really like motorbikes in Thailand at all we've got another example here I was on the way to the local shop and the motorbikes coming down the wrong way and when it meets the little farm vehicle or motorbike one of them will be forced onto the inside lane which just increases the risk of accidents okay so number eight is about left turns at red lights and what flashing headlights means in Thailand in the UK when someone flashes you with their headlights it means they're giving you the right of way in Thailand it means completely the opposite it's warning or get the hell out of the way so you must remember that um, otherwise you could find yourself in some serious trouble I actually advise using both the horn and flashing your headlights to warn other drivers of your presence to avoid accidents like this. Now you can turn left at a red light unless it specifically says not to. Uh, the only thing you need to really look out for is the traffic coming in from the right. You'll find that if you stop you will get beeped from behind so just double check, proceed and you're on your way. Okay, so number eight is about zebra crossings and roundabouts. Now in Thailand, zebra crossings are completely ignored. Although you should stop, you really don't need to. And I have actually been beeped at and berated by other drivers for actually stopping. You need to watch out for poor unsuspecting tourists that may be crossing. And this guy had had enough. It's quite amusing. He just sat down in front of the zebra crossing out of complete protestation of drivers not stopping for him. Uh, the comment section was quite amusing too. So in a nutshell, yeah, keep up with the flow of traffic. If you are going to stop at a zebra crossing, check your mirrors, check you haven't got someone tailgating you, and you should be fine. Roundabouts in Thailand aren't that common, and the give way to the right rule isn't adhered to. This motorbike is warning uh, other motorists. The white pickup truck is completely oblivious to the oncoming traffic. So just, yeah, proceed with caution at roundabouts. Okay, so number nine is road rage, and generally ties are lovely, warm, generous people, but in a huge juxtaposition, once they get behind the wheel of a car, things change, and driving can be very aggressive. Uh, you won't be let in anywhere. You have to fight for everything, and you need to stay calm. Now, Thailand is quite a violent country, and I have seen incidents of road rage, uh, weapons being used. I've seen machetes coming out. I've seen guns toted out of windows. So... This doesn't happen regularly, but you need to stay calm. And as a foreigner, you don't want to get involved in an altercation with the wrong person. Okay, so number 10 is about dogs or other animals that might stray onto the road. Um, I've had three accidents involving dogs, unfortunately. I'm a dog lover, so it upset me. Uh, they do come out of nowhere, especially at night. My advice is to keep your line. Unless you're sure there are no other vehicles around you, the danger is if you swerve to avoid an animal, my advice is to try and slow down as much as you can. Okay, so number 11 is about police checkpoints. Now these are all throughout the country. You will probably come across them. The only danger here really being you might get fleeced by uh, a dodgy copper, which does happen occasionally. And just make sure you have your driving license, your international driving license, and you're wearing a helmet. Now I also advise having some sort of camera on your helmet, motorbike or inside your car. This is good for two reasons. One, if you are ever in an accident, you've got evidence and dodgy coppers don't really like being on camera. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting some sort of camera. They're pretty cheap. You can pick them up 50, 60 dollars, uh, 60, 70 pounds on Amazon and they're well worth the purchase. Okay, so number 12 is about the crazy things you might see on Thai roads. Now, although this is a bit of comic relief, you do need to keep your eyes on the road and not be distracted by things that you might see. Uh, personally, I did nearly have an accident ogling at a guy that was carrying two gas tanks, a pig, 
and a crate of chickens all on a motorbike. Now it does happen but you need to stay focused and keep your eyes on the road so I'm going to play a montage of a few crazy things that you might see. So after 20 years driving in Thailand, they are my main point to look out for. It's important to keep in perspective that I have put everything in a 9-10 minute video. I have used extreme examples to illustrate my points. When you drive or ride here, you will probably come across two or three or just maybe a couple of these points in a two, three week holiday. If you're here long term, you will probably see most of the things in this video. It's not meant to scare you, it's meant for you to be aware of what is on the roads here in Thailand. Okay, saying that, that's all we've got time for today and I will see you in the next video.